Hey, my name's Colton Lippert. I'm a fire medic here at Station One, and I'm gonna be showing you our ladder truck. Here, we're starting at the driver's seat. This is where our engineer sits. As you can tell, there's all kinds of controls to this truck that are all very important. Back here is where we have both of our firefighters ride. Not only do we respond to fires, we also respond to medicals. So in the middle compartment, you're gonna find all of our medical stuff, along with some other things that we use. But basically, their main thing is to get things done fast and effectively. Right here, we have our pump panel. This is what controls where we're getting water to, how much water, and if he can do it effectively, he gets it done pretty quick. All right, this is our engineer's compartment. So the guy that drives, this is where most of his gear is gonna sit. It's also a very important compartment because that's where our hydrant bag is. If we don't have our hydrant bag, we can't connect to a fire hydrant, which would be pretty embarrassing because that's one of our main sources of water. Also within this compartment, we have a married set. It's composed of a halligan bar and a flathead ax. It's by far probably the most used tool in the fire service. Also in this compartment, we have oil dry. We use it to kind of soak up any kind of fluids that are left on the roads from car wrecks. All right, in this compartment, we have what we call salvage covers. If we have a fire somewhere and we don't want to ruin your mom's couch or anything important, the dining room table, we can cover it. This way we don't get it wet. In this compartment, we have very large extension cords. A lot of times on scenes, we might not have proper lighting. We have lights that we would obviously connect the extension cord to to light up the scene. This way we can see what we're doing. So this compartment, we kind of have divided in half. Half of it's multiple adapters and different connections because sometimes on scenes, you have to connect different size hoses, change the nozzle, or add lines. Below, we have what we call our combi tool. We can either cut with it if we have to get to somebody inside of a car that's been in a wreck, or we can spread something open if we have to do that also. So a lot of people think that this truck's just a ladder truck because of the big 105 foot ladder on top. But what people don't realize is we have a lot more ladders on this truck. So on this truck, we have everything from a 35 foot extension ladder all the way down to a 10 foot attic ladder. We also have pike poles. A lot of times we'll use these. If there's fire in the ceiling above us, we can pull the ceiling down. This way we can get better access to it. In this compartment, we have two different electrical type fans. Many time we have a hazardous environment, whether it be uh, smoke or anything else, we want to get that stuff out. We also have one of the more important things on this truck is our RIP pack. It stands for Rapid Intervention Team. So if there was to be a down firefighter, that team would take this inside and that would supplement their air. It would give them extra air. And if their mask is compromised, there's a mask in there for them also. This is our last compartment here. In this compartment, we have two different saws. One we have is just a chainsaw. We also have a K-12, and within those, they're used for different things. Hey, everybody, thanks for taking this tour with me. I hope all you guys take care and uh, be safe. Thanks.